Hey, I am Mike the Zorch, and I've decided to record this episode because our internet's flaking out again, and we're going to need this working. Um, we're going to have to call our ISP and find out what the hell is going on, because we pay a lot for internet out here, and to keep it going, and it's unusable for streaming. Um... I've tried to stream this video twice, and it keeps flaking out. So, I wanted to do this live, so now I'm going to have to do this recorded. Uh, basically, uh, there's not going to be much biking today. My knees are giving me some trouble. And, if you know, I am fluffy. I need, I need to unfluffy. It's 2019. It's time for a new me. I am done with feeling this way. I feel like crap. I can barely stay on my feet for more than a few minutes. Um, I mean, I got a chair in the kitchen that I sit in most of the time while I'm cooking dinner for everybody because I'm the only guy that knows how to cook. And um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm done with hurting all the time. I'm hurting right now. My knees are hurting right now, and I just need to do something about it. Well, uh, I've started doing stuff about it. Uh, one thing, I've thrown out most of my candy. I've got like one candy. I got like a cane full of candy thing here. I got to toss out, and I had a whole bag of chips, and I just tossed those out. And what I'm on is I'm on the keto diet, and what that is is uh, it... it now, first off, if you cut out wheat and grain, and you cut out processed sugar out of your diet, which it's hard to do, which is surprisingly difficult to do, um, we've discovered, because this is something that Tiger was doing, and I, got, I decided to go along with it, and we sort of dragged Dave along with us. But cutting out wheat and and processed sugar out of your diet they've made it really difficult for you to do that and we're making everything from scratch all ingredients we like we went to Walmart and we spent a whole lot of money we didn't have and we bought we almost bought the entire spice rack in Walmart and we bought our we bought some uh, chicken drumsticks some beef, ground beef, ground pork, um, some stuff for stewing, beef, um, different stuff. One of the first meals of the kettle meals I, we tried was a stir fry. You know, some broccoli, beef, uh, toasted sesame oil. Uh, we were, we, the recipe called for the use of um, soy sauce. But soy sauce has wheat in it. And so we had to look for an alternative to that. And I found something called liquid aminos, which has no sugar, has no wheat in it. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's really good as an alternative to tamari, which is a Japanese soy sauce, which is similar to regular soy sauce. It's a, it's a slight different version of it, or a slight variation of it, but it's really good. So we use that in, in place of it. And uh, we use olive oil, extra virgin, extra, um, extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil, and also light tasting olive oil, depending on what we're making. And we also have coconut oil for uh, different stuff. But it's a high fat diet. And you say, whoa, oh, you're trying to lose weight, but you're eating a high fat diet. Well, if you cut out wheat and you cut out sugar, processed sugar, you can get natural sugar from fruits and vegetables. You can get the natural stuff, the, the, the simple sugar, what's called the simple sugars. You can have that. But the processed sugar, like cane sugar, beet sugar, high, fruit, high fructose corn syrup, stuff like that, you can't have. If you cut those out of your diet, 
and you eat this diet, it's a rapid weight loss. When you start eating this diet, after time, you'll start losing weight. And I've already noticed that I, um, the chair in the kitchen, there's like two arms on the side. I had to squeeze into it before I couldn't fit in the chair properly. Now, I can sit in it fine. I've actually started losing a little. Still need to lose more because, um, you know, I can't stand on my feet for more than 10 minutes without my back starting to hurt, without my knees starting to hurt. But, uh, I am improving. I'm getting better. And I'm going to keep going. And it's a permanent thing. It's not something that I'm just going to you know, stop doing after a while, after I've lost weight. It, this is something that we're, that we're all going to be on permanently. So, no more candies or anything like that. Uh, we know that if we, like, go out on trips and stuff, that there will be very little way of avoiding wheat or avoiding sugars or anything. But there are some ways... To avoid exposure to those things like um, breakfasts. Let's say we go, we usually go um, big movies. Like if we watch um, MCU films, big MCU films, or if we go watch Star Wars, which we might not this year, depending on how how well. Um, Star Trek's received. I mean, sorry, Star Trek. <laughs> How well the newest Star Wars is received. Um, we might not go this year. It depends on whether or not J.J. Abrams was able to fix whatever Ryan Johnson broke and Kathleen Kennedy. I need to get that politics out of Star Wars. It doesn't belong there. But uh, I digress. Um, watch watch Chloe and the, watch the latest Chloe and Professor episode to see what I feel about that. But uh, I digress. We usually go to Shreveport and we go there to watch movies in IMAX. What's well, sort of a fake IMAX but we go to watch it in IMAX in 3D. I can actually, with despite my vision problem, I can actually see the 3D effect with the glasses. Which surprisingly, I have to sit close to the screen, but I can I can see it. And there's an IHOP out there that we usually go to when we go see movies. So there's meals there that will limit that we can get that will limit our exposure to loads of sugar and wheat and everything. They have meals there that we can that we can eat that will help us with that regard. We know that, you know, there will be occasions where if we're on a road trip or something and we stop someplace to eat, we won't be able to, you know, have a meal that is completely devoid of wheat and sugar. But it, it will only be occasional. If we had like an RV or something with a good kitchen in it, that might be different. We might be able to actually make our own stuff in the RV and not have to worry about eating restaurants or whatever. But uh, we don't have an RV. So, the point is, I am not going to be drinking sodas. I haven't been drinking sodas for several days. Uh, the last time I went to the store, um, one of the things that I usually did was I would grab a Starbucks coffee out of the little freezer thing next to the checkout. And I so wanted one the other day and I didn't get it because it's just loaded with sugar and corn syrup and and everything and I really wanted it so you're asking how do we deal with uh, not having wheat not having flour and stuff uh, does that mean we can't have bread 
things like that. Actually, no, we can have bread. Uh, I tried making some bread with almond flour the other day. Um, it, it came out okay, but it was a little bland. Uh, the taste wasn't taste wasn't exactly the best. It didn't taste like bread. It tasted like unsweetened almond something. It was strange. Um, we can't use regular baking powder because that has cornstarch in it and, and your body will take that cornstarch and um, turn it into sugars that are not good for you. So we had to find an alternative to that and I found out that we can use baking soda in its place and use for every for every believe it for every teaspoon or tablespoon of of baking powder it's half that for baking soda and then you include with each one of those one uh, teaspoon of lemon juice well, I didn't put enough lemon juice in and the bread didn't rise properly well I've got some what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to put some I got some baking yeast put it in the lemon juice and then put that into the mix and then mix it I'm going to try coconut flour this time and make us some make some bread and see how that works out um, see if that rises properly so I'm gonna try that actually I'm gonna make that today and I think uh, for our lunch I'll probably make our um, chicken salad again maybe we have to make everything from scratch. In fact, uh, we can make mayo from scratch. And mayo is surprisingly easy to, to make. You take light tasting olive oil, you take a, a single raw egg, you put it in the bottom of a, um, of a jar, you have a, you have a jar in the refrigerator with some in it now. You take a raw egg and then you add, I believe it was a cup of light tasting olive oil and then you have this mixer, you have this stick mis mixer, and you basically uh, go at it until it turns into a, uh, a fluffy consistency and becomes mayonnaise. And that's actually really good. And you can add some um, herbs to it to, to flavor it. And it actually made some pretty decent tasting um it actually made some pretty decent tasting um sorry tasting uh chicken salad and had no sugar in it because the other chicken salads that we used to buy from the store was loaded with sugar and so was a lot of the uh so with some of the mayo and a lot of the Miracle Whip that we used to eat, I mean, you'd be surprised how much stuff you buy from the store that has sugar in it. Some of the things that they put sugar in in order to um, cut corners or um, do shortcuts around certain ingredients and things. We're making everything from scratch. And for um, stuff like coffee, we have this stuff called Swerve, and it, it's a sweetener. It's not a sugar. It does not affect your blood sugar levels. It tastes like sugar. I've actually tasted a little bit of it. It's like 80% the sweetness of regular sugar, but unlike Steva, it doesn't have a aftertaste. It doesn't have a bad aftertaste to it. Well, they have three different varieties of this stuff. And they have the regular stuff, the granulated stuff that you can use just like sugar. They have the confectionery stuff, which is which can be used for baking. And and then they have a brown sugar version, which I ordered some of that because the local Walmart doesn't have the brown version. Brown sugar version. 
and what we can use with that is we can make our own Worcestershire sauce because there's a there's a recipe we have that calls for Worcestershire sauce we don't have um, any of that because it's loaded with sugar but we can use this alternative which doesn't affect your blood sugar level in this and uh, it'll come out come out fine so I have yet to try coffee with this stuff you can bake with it unlike unlike um, unlike Steva which has certain restrictions on what how, how you can use it because it doesn't handle high temperatures but you can actually bake with this stuff it's produced from the this version this the, the brand, Swerve brand, it's produced from yeast. But there are others that are produced from corn starches. And you have to watch out for those. Because uh, they're, they're not the only manufacturers of, of a sweetener of this type. But others make it from corn starch. They make it from yeasts and um, different um, simple sugars in vegetables. It's produced from that. They, they feed the simple sugars to a bacteria and the byproduct is the sweetener. And it does not, it tastes like sugar, has no bad aftertaste like Steva does. Steva has a really bitter aftertaste. I mean, it's sweet, but it has a really bitter aftertaste. And we also have coconut sugar, which is derived from coconuts, and it's made from made from um, natural sugars. But we don't have any processed sugar, processed cane sugar, or beet sugar, or high fructose corn syrup, which increases your blood sugar level and is not really that great for you especially high fructose corn syrup that that stuff's not good for you at all and i was drinking the diet sodas that had that aspartame in it and that's not great either and while i'm sitting here and recording this i've got uh pretty ping going in the background a pretty ping is a shell script for Linux and what it does is it creates a, um, a visual ping uh, output you know you you ping address ping an address and it gives you a gives you a uh, visual output of what it's coming back with and it was bad for a while there now it seems to improved right when I'm not streaming it gets better so we're going to have to we're gonna to have to uh, lean on our ISP on that one because we pay a lot for it for a business account with them for higher speeds for streaming and everything and we're not getting our money's worth from them and they're the only, they're really the only ISP in town unless we move. And we're thinking about doing that already. But I have to uh, summarize. I'm tired of feeling like. I'm tired of feeling like crap. I'm tired of the pain. And you know, I'm tired of having to sleep in wonky positions because my leg keeps going numb. I'm tired of all of it. And I'm doing something about it. I'm actually doing something about it. And once my knees start feeling better, I'm gonna be getting on that bike I've got some weights. I'm gonna start doing the weights. In fact, I can I can do those now while my legs are recovering. And uh, I'm going to do something about it. As that first day, that going to that go, we went to the store when uh, we bought everything. Um, 
I was on my feet for a really long time and that really hurt a lot. Uh, a few times I've actually had to ride the electric carts at Walmart and because my my legs just hurt so much. I didn't that day because there weren't any available because it was so busy. And uh Yeah, it I was in a lot of pain and I'm still recovering from that pain. I mean, I mean we went we went over the weekend to do this and it's still hurting. I need to do something about that. And I am doing something about it right now. So the new me. So next episode I should be able to live stream it, hopefully. And you'll actually be seeing me doing some biking with my uh, under desk exercise bike over here and chatting about stuff. Wanted to be able to chat with some people today, but I speed decided to go. Pfft. So thanks for watching. I've been Mike Zorch. Um, few things we're gonna be uh, having. We're gonna be doing a live stream, hopefully, with our ISP allows us. We will be doing um, a live stream of the first new episode of the Zort Central Show, um, hopefully this week. In if our ISP allows us, if it doesn't crap out on us, and so we'll be doing our, it will be a weekly show from then on, and I've got some other stuff coming up on, on Gamers Bay, I have a, um, I have an episode of an old, old gamer plays next, that will be coming up. I'll be doing that on a Toho game from Steam that I'm currently playing right now. Really good Metroidvania style game. Uh, it is uh, Luna Knights with uh, Sakuya, which who is uh, I think it's Romilia's maid is the um, main star of the game. That's I'll be doing a lot of explaining exactly what Toho is, if you're not familiar. Um, An old over here on Zort Central, I will be doing a follow-up to the Random Thoughts episode I did on Battlefront 2, the classic version from Rebellion, that made under Lucasfil LucasArts. I'll be doing a follow-up based on the current Battlefront 2 because I actually have that um, I've, I've spoken of that before I have that now I I picked it up on discount and me and Tiger have actually been having some fun playing that it's different from the classic Battlefront 2 we get our asses kicked a lot because there are some players out there who have better better gear they've been playing longer so they've unlocked better better weapons and everything but um without the crap in it that EA had before it's actually a fun game now so I'll be doing an episode on that and uh, lots of other things are coming up so Look forward to all of that new new content coming from me. You know, I'm going to be doing more. I'm going to start out a little slow at first. I'm not going to start oof, start throwing out tons of content, you know, right away. I'm going to pace myself so that I don't burn out. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be improving things. So, thanks for watching. I am Mike the Zorch, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days.